Let's talk about analog yes. 3D. We finally we finally have the reveal. The analog 3D. The future is here, even though it's the past. Uh, a reimagining <laughs> of the N64 in 4K resolution, 10 times the resolution of the original N64, the first and perhaps greatest multiplayer system of all time. Analog 3D is a 100% compatible with every original N64 game ever made, region-free, uh, Bluetooth L uh, LE, dual band Wi-Fi, four original style controller ports, entirely new next generation analog hardware featuring 3D OS, engineered entirely in FPGA, no emulation. Pause. There's a couple of asterisks in there. Yeah, I would like to add, I would like to address those asterisks immediately. Are there two asterisks? There's two. I actually don't see any on this. There's no actual asterisks. Oh, okay. But there's two metaphorical asterisks. All right, you tell, tell you, well, you say the first one. Well, the first one that I'm thinking of is 4K is a little smaller because it's cropped from on the sides. Because it's it's 4x3. All right, so then there's three asterisks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's 4K, but 4x3, so it's not actually... Like, 4K is 3840 pixels. Yeah. So it's not even actually 4,000. Right. What's the number two? No emulation. I was good. Yes. Yeah. But no emulation, it's... Hardware emulation. It's hardware emulation. They don't. They like to say no emulation because whenever you're talking about a clone console, which this is, it almost always refers to software emulation. The fact that it's a computer program running on another computer program inside of it, which can lead to bugs and glitches and things that were not there um, in the original game. Hardware emulation tends to be more accurate to the original system but it's still hardware emulation it's still taking a device and making it think it's another device that is what emulation is what's the third asterisk uh the analog pocket is 100 percent compatible with every original n64 game ever made okay there is as far as i can tell no way to connect a 64 dd okay. to this device now you may be thinking What's the big deal? That wasn't a successful peripheral. It only came out in Japan. Like, that's still a whole section of games that cannot be played on the analog 3D. Well, that sucks. You would think that they would think of that because they uh, all of their consoles have, like, a lot of peripheral stuff. Yeah. The analog pocket has, like, a million adapters that you can yeah. for it. So that kind of sucks. 